Hi, Will Daly here again. Here today to talk about is technology good or bad? Is technology good or bad? That falls on the lines of the same discussion as is globalism good or bad? Where uh, there's benefits from people benefit from globalism and people are hurt by globalism. Well, who benefits from technology used in business? People in the firms using it because it increases their productivity and their whole comparative and comp competitive advantage over the competition. Who else benefits? The consumers will benefit from technology because with increased productivity can become decrease in price because large more volume. And with technology it also allows for the spread of one company to cover, to basically have global connections where if you want you can order things from China, you can order things from India, you can order things from Vietnam, you can order things from anywhere in the world, South America, North America, anywhere. So, is technology bad though in business? Well, yeah, technology can be bad in business if, uh, if say, your servers get hacked and all your company information gets leaked to a competitor then they know all of your information, they know all your client list, they know all your clientele. Uh, is it also bad? Or another reason why it's bad is if you're just a single individual or someone who's just trying to sell things. Where we'll use an example of, say you own a bookstore, a small bookstore and you create a website where you sell your books online. Uh, you're doing good. And then this company called Amazon comes out, where they sell pretty much any book online for a very good price. Is technology good in your favor then? No, technology's not good, uh, because you can't compete with this large competitor. Which pretty much brings it to the same lines as, is globalization good? Globalization's good, unless you're the person who's getting the short end of the stick. Uh, well, with globalization too, you don't have the whole, there's no real short end of the stick. You have a person who's benefiting from your business. Uh, even though you no longer have business, you're also benefiting from lower prices. So, with that, that's how business is either good or bad. Uh, we'll look at different types of technology too. Uh, say with the military. Is technology in the military good? Uh, well, technology has allowed from dropping of mass bombings, carpet bombings of cities to come down to being precision airstrikes on bunkers. So it increases that likely, the less likelihood of casualties. Uh, is technology also good in the military? Well, there can also be downsides to there being lots of technology where information can be wrong and your precision airstrike can hit something that wasn't an intended target or an unintentional intended target. Or you have an example of that happening recently where an Apache helicopter attacked a, uh, a bus carrying journalists. So that accuracy can also become a negative. Uh, with healthcare, is technology good? Well, with healthcare, doctors can now uh, look online or look at your records instantly from any doctor around the world. So as long as you go to a doctor who's doing this, you're all set. They can find out your history, what drugs you've taken, what other doctors have thought you had, and all these other things to help provide you with the best service you can. But with all that on available, they can also be used for something bad, say if a company were to get out, or a company were to buy access to this data, they can then find uh, what medicine you're on and then sell you their medicine or use it for ads like pretty much Facebook does now. Uh, socially, let's look at that one, speaking of Facebook. Uh, socially, you can use the uh, internet or just technology in general, phones, Foursquare even, where if you're out and about, you check into some place, your friends are like, oh hey, Will's getting coffee, let's go hang out with Will because we're right around the corner. That's fun. Facebook, you can keep in track with people that you haven't talked to in a while. You can keep track of family, pretty much everything. That's pretty good. But downside to that is you risk the 
risk of existing your social life completely online and not actually having a social social life where you go out with your friends, you just live inside and talk to people online. This brings us to the third question is, is technology good or bad? Really has its whole, uh, the whole argument is based on people. Uh, this kind of follows along the lines for me of, are firearms good or bad? Because firearms are uh, pretty much an object. They have, they have no intent. You can have a firearm to defend yourself, or you can have a firearm for malicious intent. So, you can use your email to talk to people around the world, have chats with people, meet people online, email them, email businesses, friends. You can talk to people a lot easier using email. But there's also people who use email with malicious intent, like Nigerian 419 scammers where if you get an email saying, oh, hey, I need help, I just inherited $10 million and I can't get it because I need an American or someone to wire me $5,000 and I'll pay you back as soon as I get the money, you're never going to see that $5,000 again. So if someone's using it with malicious intent, then it's going to be far more devastating. So yeah. So. For me, my opinion, is technology good or bad? I think technology is good. It has to be supervised. It can't be something that you're just let exist without you need to make a conscious decision what to do with. It can't be like a parent and let your kid play with your video game, whereas you can't be a person and just put all your information on Facebook and hope that nothing bad happens. Hopefully this made sense. Uh, thank you.